Hey guys, it's Linux Next here. In today's video, we are going to be having a look at my one month review of Pika OS and my issues I've had with the distro over that one month, having to install it at least once. And I should have reinstalled it for a second time because it had a bad update again. Uh, so we're going to be looking at my experience with it, you know, the issues that I've had with the distro after one month. And before this video starts, definitely give it a like and definitely subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. So if you don't notice, I'm on my Endeavor OS install. This is my main distro that I have been running for a couple months now, I'd say, like three months or two months or something like that. I haven't reinstalled Endeavor OS at all yet because it hasn't failed on me. And I know basically what to do when it comes to like installing newer packages or reverting older packages and you know, removing unused packages and all that stuff. I know how to do that. So when it comes to you know, maintaining Endeavor OS, it's a really good distro. It hasn't failed on me yet. But uh, yeah, I installed Pico OS a month ago and I said that I would redo this one month review of Pico OS to see how it's been and uh, my issues I've had with it and how I've, I've waited for certain package updates also which haven't arrived and that's basically not Pico's OS fault that is a Debian problem with how they update packages but one of the first problems I had with Pico OS uh, was basically updating it now what I did is I used their update manager the one that with the um, GUI update manager called Pikman Update Manager. I use that to update my system every time. It updates the system packages and it updates the Flatpak packages. I did not update through Discover once throughout that one month review. And as you can see, it did come up with, uh, this was the second error that came up and it said uh, a DPK G error in SCX end of file on whatever, some problem that happened. And basically after I did that update, I redid the update to make sure that things were fixed and it said everything was perfectly fine. After I rechecked to make sure that the packages were installed properly and updated, and I'm pretty sure it was like a kernel update, it was a messer update, I'm pretty sure there was probably some other things that got updated. Uh, but if we go to the first one, which was just, I basically updated the system and then I rebooted and I just got hit with a black screen when trying to boot into Pico OS. I just couldn't boot into it. And um, this is the, uh, what's it called? The refined boot manager. I booted into Pico OS. It just comes up with a black screen and it doesn't go any further than that. So I had to reinstall on the first time. I was like, you know what? I'll give it another shot because it hasn't been one month yet. I need to reinstall it, reset it back up to the way I like it. Uh, and then after like I think a week or two went by some other big updates came through I did the updates it came with an error I rechecked for those updates I made sure that there was no issues and it didn't say that there was any issues in the uh, update manager and then I rebooted and I had the exact same issue where it just stayed on my Aurora splash screen and it just wouldn't go any further. Now, when it comes to everything else about PicoOS, the only other issue that I have with PicoOS, and that's not to do with PicoOS, and that's just how Debian updates packages. Because if we have a look, and this might be different now, I haven't checked in a while, but the last time I checked the Debian uh, repository, and we looked for specifically for Plasma package updates, it has a mixture of packages of the Plasma desktop and the desktop of Plasma is 6.2.1, which has a cursor bug with full screen games. And I don't like that. I don't like how I have to click my icon of my game so then the cursor doesn't leave a second cursor behind because that was a bug from the KDE developers to do with the screen sharing that they decided to implement. And so if we do go to Debian package, um, search results on Plasma. So if we look at Debian right now, after uh, me basically not deciding to install PicOS, it's now on 6.2.4 on the unstable branch, which is really good to see because that is the version that is on Arch right now. Uh, so when it comes to the cursor bug, that's completely gone now and Plasma on 6.2.4 is pretty stable, I would say. I haven't had many issues with it. And so that's really good to see. Uh, but when I was using PicOS for that one month, the Debian, I uh, guess, developers, and they don't really depend on PicOS. They've got really nothing to do with PicOS. 
they have to do with you know their own distro which is debian uh, so they went on 6.2.4 was a mixture of 6.2.1 and 6.2.2 uh, and with those mixture of packages kwin was on 6.2.1 so that cursor bug just stayed and i just didn't like how debian is doing their own thing and then pcos depends on those packages so you have to wait a pretty decent amount of time for Debian to update those packages to the version that you actually need. And this may happen again with this maybe some specific bug that has happened in the Plasma desktop or maybe in Mesa or something. And the Debian developers don't update to those package versions. So you don't get those updates on Pika. And that makes Pika OS a rather bad gaming distro because it's trying to be a gaming distro but then it doesn't get that specific patch. So then, it, you know, the users are going to have a rather bad experience. And that's what happened with me when I was trying to use it. I was trying to play games and I was just dealing with that cursor bug and it just annoys me how I have to click my game icon. It's a little thing, but it does matter over time when you're playing games like you know, six hours a day or even longer sometimes. It's, it's quite annoying when you have to click the game shortcut instead of just clicking on the game. Uh, and it just leaves uh, two cursors behind. One stays. So it's a little bit annoying that you know, PicOS is trying to be a gaming distro, uh, but they're using experimental and Sid Debian packages, which means that uh, when it comes to, you know, like, I like how Debian calls their repo experimental, but they took over a month to update 6.2.4. That's the other thing. So that's why I'm kind of like a bit iffy personally on why I'm not going to use PicOS is just because experimental takes a while for Debian to actually update their packages and then they also leave a mixture of packages it seems like with Plasma where they had a mixture of 6.2.2 and 6.2.1 for some odd reason. So really that's about it for PicOS when it comes to one month. Besides the package stuff and besides the errors when, when it comes to updating PicoS in their own Pika software updater manager, it's an okay distro still. If you are a Debian fan, I would definitely give this distro a try and maybe do like a dual boot with the main distro that you're running. That's what I did to try and test out PicoS. And, uh, and the only good thing really with PicoS for me personally was that it installed a nice boot manager, uh, refine boot manager. So now it actually organizes my uh, distros in a nice, uh, friendly way, I would say. And of course, uh, the logo. Uh, the logo looks really um, appealing, I would say, and the font that they use in PicoS, it does look really nice. So that's just a short video of my one month review of PicoS. It may sound like I'm very just annoyed at PicoS, but if I was installing PicoS as my main distro and it broke two times, in a month that's not really good on pico os i would say and it kind of feels like the old days of um nabara when i was using nabara like 36 i think it was and um it was still in like that development phase of like it becoming a stable distro and them just like you know glorious egg girl figuring out what really needed to be improved in that distro to make it become rather stable for a gaming like a distro you could say so would i recommend pico os to someone i with the issues that I've had with the two you know, errors and I've had to reinstall once, I would say no for now. Maybe, maybe like a year down the line. And if you're using PicoS right now and you have no issues with PicoS, that's great. Uh, that's great to, to see that you know, there's other people that do have a good experience with PicoS. Uh, for me personally, no. I'm not going to use uh, PicoS. So that's been my experience with PicoS uh, after one month. Uh, I would like to know your thoughts about PicoS and if you've been using it, how has your experience been with it? Have you had any major problems with it? Like, uh, you know, are you updating through that, that manager and then you just reboot and it doesn't boot into PicoS? So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely give it a like, definitely subscribe to the channel. Thank you to my supporters. I'll show you a screenshot of you now. Thank you so much for giving me money every single month and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.